Okay, uh, welcome back, boys and girls. Uh, once again, uh, this is Ms. Chan, this is Kamlin from the MadCenter.com. Uh, in this short, very short video, I'd like to talk uh, and teach some examples on algebraic formula. Uh, people, algebra is really, really important. For me, uh, it's the base to a lot of maths. You know, everything you do as you grow further in your math education, there's always an equation to solve. So you need to be very comfortable with uh, equations and algebraic equations and so on. So, uh, okay, before I forget, uh, before I forget and I start, please do give us a like, uh, follow us on YouTube uh, and Facebook. I do share uh, our videos with your friends, okay? And people you know, uh, we have a whole lot, a whole gamut of courses on our website, themedcenter.com. Just go there and take a look at the courses. Lots of freebies too, all right? Um, okay, so now this is, I call this algebraic formula and I call this actually part one. I just chose some examples. These examples are very, very important uh, and we will build it up. There'll be a part two coming. Now here, there are some simple examples I chose. In this uh, equation here, all right, this is an equation all in algebraic terms, all right, with different uh, variables. Mx plus n equals p, all right? You can see it's an algebraic equation the left side equals to the right side. In this equation, people, P actually is the subject. When I say uh, P is the subject, the constant of P is 1. Therefore, here, the value of 1P is M multiplied by X plus the value of N. So now, we, in this question, we are going to change it and make X the subject. Can you see? Now, right now, P is the subject. I'm going to change and make, it, uh, make X as the subject. Okay, now if you make x as a subject, it should be the value of 1x, not 2x, not 3x, not 10x, but only x. And uh, traditionally, we place x on the left-hand side. So here, this is pretty easy. On the left-hand side, there are two terms. mx is one term, n is another term. On the right-hand side is p, right, the subject. So when you want to make x a subject, you isolate the term with x, and you bring the rest over. So hence, I have mx equals P minus N. It's a plus N here. When you bring over, you change sign. Traditionally, you can ask any of my students at the medcenter.com. That's how I teach algebra. Bring a term over, change sign. Bring part of a term over, change operation. Operation is multiplication becomes division. Division becomes multiplication. Okay? Play this video again and listen to the two golden rules that I talk about. Either change a sign that means positive to negative, negative to positive. You bring a whole term over from left to right or right to left or change operation. If you're moving part of a term, that means the multiplication on left-hand side when you bring over that partial term becomes division, okay? And vice versa. So therefore M multiplied by X. Now I'm using the second rule. I want to bring M over. I'm changing, I'm trying to shift over part of a term. So hence, I change operation. M times X now becomes divided by M. There you go. Now the value of X is P minus N over M. Okay. So there were two very important rules I told you. Change sign. Positive becomes negative. Negative becomes positive. Or change operation. This is a secret algebraic formula. Multiply becomes division, division becomes multiplication, okay? This change sign is only if you move a whole term over, change operation is if you move part of the term over. Okay, so the next one. Now, uh, let me erase this, I need some space. The second one, okay? The second one is to make W, W the subject. Now here, the numerator is AW, plus B over the denominator C. So the, here, I'm going to shift part of C to the right, uh, sorry. I'm going to shift part of a term. That means the denominator C to the right. So I'm still left with A, W plus B equals D, C or C, D. I'm using the second one. I'm changing operation. Then I'm going to isolate A, W itself and leave and shift over entirely B. Hence, I use the first one. Plus B becomes minus B. Now, I'm going to get rid of A, A times W. So when A 
is shifted over to the right hand side is I'm actually using shifting part of a term, hence it becomes uh, divided by A. There you go. That's my answer. Okay. So the value of W is uh, the same is the value of DC minus B. You can write it in bracket if you like. The whole thing divided by A. There you go. Okay. Okay, so let me go. Uh, let me move on. I forget this story, Mr. Teams. I'm figuring out how to move up the space. Hang on, just a minute. Oh, shoot. Okay, now people, I think I, I erased too much. And I might. Okay, so hang on. It's when you mess with it too much. Okay, sorry about that. But anyway, I finished A and B. You can rewind the video. Now see the last one that I'm doing, people, I'm continuing with algebraic formula. With MS Teams, you have this fabulous thing that you can shift up, you know. This one, I, I figure, I'm going to figure out how to do that. Okay, see, the last uh, example is this, x equals d plus bx over a. Okay, I want to make x a subject. Ah, x is a subject. When I say x is a subject, x has a constant one and it stands on the left. Everything else must be non-x is to the right. Or basically, if x is subject, tell me what's the value of one x, okay? Now, look at it, we have x on the left and we have x, a term with x on the right. So it doesn't matter, let's make it simple. No fractions. So divide by a, I'm gonna move over. Remember my two rules there? Eh? When you shift part of a term, the division you bring over becomes multiplication. Hence, ax equals d plus bx. Then what do you do? I gather all the terms with x together. So I would prefer to bring bx over so that I have all the terms with x on the left-hand side. Okay, ax minus bx. Then the very important rule, you must factorize. Take out x as a common factor. So from ax, you take out x, you have a. From bx, you take out b, you have b, you have negative b, right? So x times a minus b equals d. Here, the operation is multiplication. So leave x alone. I'm going to shift the entire a minus b term over. And again, I'm shifting part of a term, and that will be a division. Hence, my answer is x equals d divided by a minus b. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this three very simple example in part one of algebraic formula. I uh, do play, you can play this video again. Do give us a like uh, and share with your friends. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, check out our website for all the courses that we have, okay? Uh, we have some fabulous freebies there. Uh, do subscribe to us uh, because the subscription helps us to maintain our courses and then we keep building a lot of courses which are exam focused. And you can sit at your table, learn. Okay, this event of online learning, I think that uh, we have arrived and we like to think that we are able to help a lot of students. Okay, I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.